Hey everybody, this is Brian Gardner, Principal Developer Advocate at WP Engine. And in today's video, we're gonna talk through how to create a page template with a sidebar. We'll also show how to do that on single posts. Now, a sidebar is something that you can use to showcase an about paragraph and or link, social media icons, search bar, recent posts. It's something that has been sort of on its way out over the years, but there's still a use case for it. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that with the Frost WordPress theme. Here we go. Okay, so out of the box, the Frost WordPress theme has a page template that looks like this. Really, all it is is just loading in the page title, the page content, and it sets it at the content width, which is at 640 pixels. So the first thing we're going to do is go into the site editor and select the page template to edit. So we will go here to Appearance. We'll go here to Editor, and we want to select Templates and we want to look for the one that says pages. Now this is the uh, master template that controls all pages. As you can see here, we've got page title and then the page content. So the first thing we're going to do is go in here and edit it. Now I normally like to work within list view so I can see what's going on. And so it makes it easier to go in and select certain things. So we've got header template part and the photo template part. Really what we're concerned about here is in the middle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the group and I want to add the, the columns. That's sort of the first part in this. So we're going to add a columns block and we'll just arbitrarily select 50, 50 just to get us started. So we've got this here below and I'm going to select, um, 64%, uh, for the left side and then the right side, we're just going to go 36%. The math will play out and I'll show you here in just a second how that works. So uh, because uh, the columns here will by default just go full width, what we want to do is select the group here and we want to change this layout here to inner blocks. And we're going to select 1080 pixels wide. And then what we want to do is we want to take the content here, uh, which will essentially go into the left side of the layout. We want to select them and we can actually drag them into the first column. There we go. Now this shows up and you can see uh, on the left hand side, we've got them. I'm going to click save so we can see where we're at and oops, got to do it twice. Okay. So I'm going to inspect this really quickly so we can see what we're looking at. Um, as we can see here, We've got uh, 1080 and what I'm going to do is um, add a block gap in this, separate the gap between the content and the sidebar. So I've got the column selected. I want to go down here to settings and I'm going to slide this over to large because what that does is it puts an 80 pixel gap in between the two, which makes the math play out. Mm -hmm. I will go ahead and save this. And once again, uh, we'll see what we're looking at. I will inspect here. You can see we got 1080 pixels. With an 80 pixel gap, that makes the content perfectly line up with the content with defined in theme JSON. So we've got 640 pixels in the content, and that leaves us with 360 pixels uh, into the sidebar. Now I'm going to go back in here and inside of the column, I'm just going to create uh, some sample. Uh, you know, historically we've known them as widgets in a sidebar with WordPress, but I'm just going to go ahead and create a heading. Let's just call this about and a paragraph. I've got some text here and uh, in a sidebar, maybe we want to make this an H3. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two in the left hand side. I'm multi selecting and I'm going to group them. And there's a reason why I want to do this. Uh, we've got block gap here by default in between the heading and the paragraph. I'm going to reduce that just to kind of get the spacing down. Uh, so I'm going to go down here to block spacing and I'm going to shrink that down to extra small, which will be 20 pixels of spacing. Uh, we'll go ahead and save and we can see what things look like here on the front end. Okay. So now we've got one thing here. Uh, going to go ahead and just add a few other items. Uh, so for instance, uh, let's add an, another heading. Maybe this one would be recent posts. Uh, or latest post, depending on how you, uh, again, we want to make that an H3 and we'll group these two together and we'll change the box spacing. I want to select columns again. Uh, perhaps I want to do, um, 
we're going to add uh, a search and then we'll look for the search block got that um, maybe we don't want to we want to toggle the search label off because we've got a heading here once again reduce that to an h3 multi select here on the left hand side and we're going to group them going to remove some of that block spacing and then last but not least maybe it'll, we'll add um, some social media icons so we'll call it social icons to be descriptive okay so let's just grab a few Gonna do Instagram. I'll grab one more LinkedIn because. Okay, okay, so we got the social icons block and the heading. We want to group those. Right hand side, again, do the block spacing. Um, and we want to reduce the H3 to an or H2 to an H3. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And we can see now we've got uh, what looks like a nice looking sidebar. A uh, quick uh, tangent here, social icons. If you don't like the colors and you want to match your theme, you can go into the icon and change them as you wish. And if you want to make them smaller, social icons has a setting here for size. Maybe we want to make these small. Uh, and you can see what that looks like. And so we've got the sidebar here and this looks great. Now, one thing we need to do with the sidebar, right now we have these four groups that make up the sidebar. We actually wanna turn this and convert this into a template part because what we can do then is use that throughout all of the other uh, templates, the archive, the single post, and so on. So if we multi-select all four groups, uh, we can select here and we want to create a template part. And what that does, uh, we're going to call this sidebar. It allows you to um, sync these items in this template part across the site in the same way that a header and footer works. So if you're editing a different template, uh, what you can do is if you want to add something to this sidebar, you can edit that and then hit save, and then it'll save it kind of globally throughout the entire site. Uh, so we're just gonna select general because it's not a header or a footer. We're gonna call it sidebar. I'm gonna hit create. Uh, and you can see here now we've got a template part. Um, what I also wanna do here, let's see, we've got some, some weird spacing going on. So I'm gonna just group all of that and get that spacing back uh, so that way the block gap uh, applies uh, as we would like for it to. We can space these all out however we want. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. Uh, one other item here. We have the ability to wrap this sidebar template part uh, in a special HTML semantic markup uh, in general, most of them are treated as asides. So you can go ahead and hit aside. I will hit save and we can see how things look on the, the front end. And if we do inspect, you can, uh, we'll look right here. You can see now it says aside class WP block template part. Uh, and sometimes what I do is also add something like, in case I wanna target this through CSS, I can do a, a class uh, I'll refresh again and we can see now we've got a side class equals site sidebar. So if we wanted to target that uh, in the same way, maybe site dash header, site dash footer, uh, which is something that we see here in the header, you can see header class site header. It's just a way to target uh, specific things. And so that is what we've got. And now if we want to edit this on a global level, uh, we can back out into the site editor. Uh, if you go under patterns, that's where we keep um, the template parts, you can see header footer and now there's the general. So this is the sidebar template part. So if you click on that, it sort of pulls up its own dedicated screen. Um, the width seems a little bit off just because of the way the edit screens work here, but you could go through and if you edit this uh, anywhere else in uh, it, the, the changes will apply. Now, 
So what we did was we, we customized the existing page template here. I'll just do a quick walkthrough. Uh, if we wanted to keep the standard one column layout uh, template inside of your theme, but create a new page template, we could easily do that. You would just go here to templates, select the plus button, and we wanna do custom templates. Uh, and maybe this is called page with sidebar. You would hit create. Uh, and the, this is by default, normally the standard page template, which does not have the sidebar, but because I had already customized it, it shows here. Um, but what you could do here uh, is do this. And so this imports uh, the page template here. You could hit save. And then if you wanted to apply in the template section, you've now got page with sidebar or you can go to default. And so that's another way uh, we can do this. So that is it. That's a pretty simple way to do this. Uh, again, uh, and similarly with posts, you could do the same thing. Uh, you can create a post page that has this sidebar and uh, all of that. And of course, when you go to mobile, because of the way columns respond, uh, this sidebar will go underneath the content once it gets down to a certain screen size. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. If you like this video uh, tutorial, uh, go ahead and hit the like button. We appreciate that. And uh, feel free to hit us up with uh, any questions or showcase what you've done. Thanks again for watching.